Um, hey. Ah, you're back. I hope you've made some progress on cracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. I'll need an Elder Scrolls to get any further. Huh. Ah, indeed. There's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you'll find in a local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold, what learning there is in Whoa. Skyrim, is gathered there. One of the mages there may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. That's a switch in actor, like a different day for him, maybe? <laughs> Any idea where to find the Elder Scroll? Yeah, I guess. I mean, that that's like, what's so important about being a Dragonborn and stuff like that? Like, inherently, like, that, I don't care, right? If they think it's important and I can sort of piece it together, like, I got magical powers, I'm a Jedi, or whatever, like, I don't, that part is not important, really. Um, like, I'll figure it out on my own, but, like, this is kind of... Like, I'm sure the arrow's already pointing towards an Elder Scrolls, but, like, I want him to say it. Do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. That's all you have to say? Alright. Haven't you been paying attention to anything I've said? Only you can finally defeat Alduin and avert the end of the world. Did you say something? You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. Huh. What about what about this side? Can you hear me now? Something? No. Nah, I pretty much got everything I needed from you, I guess. Not bad. Hey, do you need something? Yeah, there are blades. Okay. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. Oh, I didn't want... Sorry to interrupt. You keep shooting. Yeah, alright. Right, like, of course they're blades, but, like, for some reason, I, I couldn't piece the old man. Um, because I remember the Greybeards. If that's even their title, where it's, like, old man in a giant mountain... Uh, or they teach me the first Thum. It's like, oh, you're a Jedi now! And it's like, alright. Um, while he was talking, I mean, it's been a long time, so, like, while this, this guy was talking, I was like, who are you? And not who are you, like, I don't remember seeing you, but more like, who are you, Lee? Like, who are you affiliated with? And I couldn't remember that part. Uh, wrong way. There's a passage that... Yeah, here we go. Um... Yeah, whatever. I already solved this. Okay. So, it was, yeah, it was interesting to have dialogue to mention out, like, the blades and stuff like that, which is really cool of a, um, of a trope, I would say. Like, the Elder Scrolls trope of having, you're always 
front loaded with the blades as your number one guild slash group of people or faction of people that you want to associate with. And it's up to you to decide whenever you want to follow suit or not. Um, they did that with Oblivion. They did that, obviously, with Skyrim. And they also did that with Morrowind, with Chaos Casals and stuff like that. So it, it's... Did they, did they... I wonder if they did that with Daggerfall, which I guess so, because it's like the, the whole point of the quest is... Imperial Symptom sends you personally on a quest to Daggerfall. So I really like that trope where is it always going to be? Wait, did I miss an objective? Oh yeah, they mentioned um, a town. Isn't it like super far north? Is it this one? Learn the location of the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, College of Winterhold. Man, that's a trip. I'm gonna follow the road this time because going off road is confusing. Brain edge the soldiers. I guess I didn't. I missed that. Did I? Do I have the sword? I don't think I have the sword. So there's no point of doing it. Um. I don't think I have the sword. No. All right. Another interesting trope would be like the um, you know having all of the my mage guild, fighters guild, thieves guild, dark brotherhood uh, factions and or quest lines like those are like the typical warrior mage thief archetypes, but they're distilled like it's an essence in a, uh, a faction so it, it's not so much it's like, like a th it's a theme that any you know character archetype that you can come up with for role playing for example you can at least find one of them uh, you know interesting like in my case it would be the thieves guild but for uh, another character it might be like the mages guild or a combination of the two um it's like in in its basic core like it, there's at least something um or some place a group of people a group of uh, uh, an, an organization for you to belong to in this world and uh, and I say this world like I'm talking about Elder Scrolls and uh, yeah I like that I like that I mean they could change it up but I, I feel like they would miss something out of it of course I do like the idea of having um, progression uh, locked behind a certain skill level. So for example, if my conjuration or any of my spell casting would be, uh, I'm, I'm guessing like my spell casting is at level 15 for all of them, conjuration, alteration, you know, destruction, etc., etc., And um, not being able to, oh, that's a hostile. Not being able to progress. Oh, that's a, literally a thief. Um, like Naruto Ninja run much? Yeah, 
There you go. Problem solved. Ooh, nice dagger. Um, it's like lockpicks came to me freely. That's really cool. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I do like the idea of, like, hiding or locking a rank of a certain faction to, um, you know, a set of prerequisites. Uh, mechanically, it could be like a skill level, right? Kind of like the way that Morwen did it. Or um, maybe just having a story one. Like in the case of the Blades, right? You don't necessarily need to have formal training. You don't necessarily need to um, be X level of a wizard or a fighter to be able to... Um, belong but you're like a savior or you 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 are working with them for a good cause kind of thing right at least they they're they're meant to tell you that you know they're 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 good guys but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's up to you to to decide whenever or not that's true or not right so it's one of those things um and make sure of both not to have um I certainly like the freedom Oblivion gives you by just giving you access to all of it. Uh, it, it certainly serves as a sandbox mindset, but a little restriction to, to gamify it a bit would make, ironically, the game feel a lot more believable because you're not this like god entity that can become the leader of a group by being... Oh, God. Okay. Well, that was a strange... Um, exchange right there. And and I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know, in the back of my head, or my mind, that... Um, Factions are an integral part of RPGs in, in in one shape or form. You know, when you really think about PvP, PvE, all that jazz, it all comes down to... Might as well read the freaking road signs. Oh yeah, solitude. Okay, so I was going the wrong way. If I can freaking read them. Wind, right, white run, wind helm. So it's okay, I'm going this way. So you know, when you think about like um like an MMO, right? So it's an MMORPG, it's not much of a role playing game, but in a sense it kind of is uh on the surface level, but still factions, right? Um it's the core of what enables people to enjoy um, fighting each other. Uh, you're not necessarily required to, you know, be in a guild to be able to enjoy um, fighting. You know, you, you don't have to f looking for groups in order to enjoy fighting random players. Uh, primarily because you don't have to watch your back 24 hours, 24-7, uh, where you have people's back and other people have your back just by virtue of being in the same faction. So it works in that front. And then you also have, like, role play, uh, you know, single-player RPGs, um, where you, well, kind of like in, in Skyrim. Or, you know, I'm thinking... Uh, stuff like even like the more old school stuff like Baldur's Gate. Um, I can only talk about the original because it's the only one I played. But like you know, um, what was it? Was it called On? Or the, the the Red Wizards and all that stuff. I mean, these are factions 
um, within the lore. I don't know if you can actually join them in the game. But I, I feel like whenever you can join a faction or not is irrelevant. But the fact that they exist almost make RPGs tangible. I don't know if he's like hungry or that's his cow, pet dog thing. I'm just gonna leave that giant be. Um, Like I'm thinking like even like the most basic of role playing, right? And I'm talking like super service level like Diablo. Like Diablo's not even a role playing game, but you know, they call it an action RPG for one reason is because it's got some RPG elements and you know, if you think about Diablo 2 uh it's got factions in it. Right? The, um, what is it? The, um, sisters? It's like the Watchful Eye sister, or there's something about vision, or like eyeball sisters, and they're, uh, you know, the, um, Amazon ish tribe of archers. Um, uh, and then there's like the, um, they're wizards where like the, all the names escape me, but there are factions in there and they all wear the same kind of like uniform. Uh, I, I guess like the ancients themselves, like the barbarian clan would also count uh, and all that stuff. So it's like, the, it makes the game world more tangible. And I really like the fact that um, in the Elder Trolls, you know, all of the Morrowind, Skyrim, even Daggerfall, they're, they're mechanically um, involved. You can participate with them, you can progress within their ranks and, and all that stuff. And I guess in a way, it's one of the, the reasons for the series success same thing with like other RPGs like the Fallout series, right? They're pretty great with the, um, uh, what is the Brotherhood of Steel or something like that? I'm not, not a Fallout guy, so I like the names. I couldn't, I couldn't really think of more factions, but I guess that's the one that stood out for me. Because they always get associated by being like the quote unquote paladins of that universe. And uh, I should go to town. Because um, I'm full, I'm running around with a full inventory. So hopefully I won't get arrested on site. Yeah, they're not. Okay. And I might have to wait until morning, but. Um, I gotta clean, clean some inventory. Probably sell some potions. Probably just gonna get rid of as many potions as I can. Assuming the uh, Apothecarian has gold to spare. I guess I could go to the general shop. Find some healing potions if they have any. That's my biggest problem with like potions right now is the idea that I can't freaking find them. Like I guess like Sparity makes them more um, sought after, like more special. It's like ooh, I got a potion, but they sh like they're not even that great. I keep finding the small ones too, so it's one of those things where uh, 
you're an inn, right? Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Oh no, you're not. Thank you very much for your business. Yes, hi. Uh, technically, I might have to sell my stuff here, but I, I want. He's open too. That's strange. I thought you were the inn. Because this is the shopping district. Or is it this one? Yeah, it is. Okay. You would typically put the inn in front of the city or at the entrance, but eh, no biggie. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? A bed. What can I get you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right, thank you. He I'll show you to your room right this way. I was afraid of that. Like I, 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 I was kind of nervous. I was like, "Are they gonna tell me where it is?" <laughs> it's been a while. Nothing. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's the same room. All right. Thank you. Let me know if there's anything else you need. It'd be a hard place to sleep. Oh, okay, that's not awkward at all. What are you doing here? Well, like, I'm thinking, like, I'm trying to sleep, right? And there's no door. And, you know, guys here might be doing parties or playing music and such like that. Like, yes. like right, we're doing right now. So it's like, or... How do I, how do I, how can I fall asleep, right? Or maybe I snore a lot and then I like disturbing everyone. And there's only one bed too, but details. Um, yeah, it's 10 p.m. So let me. That might be too early. Now, is that 9 or 10? It is a 10. Okay. So, I mean, I'm thinking shop should open at like 9.30, right? At the latest. I think. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Mr. Could you spare a coin? I'm so hungry. Here. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. She looks healthier than these guys. Like, the adults look all dead. Yeah, I'm sorry, kid. You're the best. Can you be my father? <laughs> Wait, what? That's... Did you kill your dad, or...? That was weird. Thank you. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Yeah, you look worse than I do, lady. Um... Oh, you can actually train. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes, but mostly your potions and um, assuming you can actually get a potion that can heal. Because I'm thinking about... Um, ah, there we go. Sweet. So it's like two potions out of the entire store. That, that's pathetic. I wish I could just give her an order. Like, can you like craft 
like 150 potions. I don't care how big or small. Just give me 150 potions and I'll come back like in a week and I'll, I'll pick it up. Like, just give me, give me, give it to me in bulk. You know what I mean? Your weapon and improves in certain percent. That's actually kind of neat. But I don't craft, so who cares? Did I drink it or what was? I'm trying to sell, right? You are hard to detect. Okay, that's good. Health regenerate. I kind of get it. Resist magic to situational, even though I've been fighting casters and I've been having problems against casters for the majority of this session. Uh, this is good. Then again, very situational as well. I mean, I, I keep holding them off because I, I'm thinking, well, I'm always going to be overburdened, but no one wants to be overburdened because of potion timeout. I only have four. So I'm going to sell them all. Think minimal. Oh, think minimalistic. Can breathe underwater, sure. Don't think I've ever had a use for that though. Uh, it's not like an oblivion where you have a quest where you have to go underwater. At least not that I can think of. Um, so no, I'm just gonna. 60 seconds, items are enchanted. Nope. Nope. Nope, I don't even know what my level... Well, I know what my level is, but I don't know what the level of these guys are, so... That's impractical. Same thing here. Frenzy is useless. Um, resist 20% of frost damage. Situational again. Whoa. Oh, you don't have... That's the problem, right? Like, I can't get rid of this crap. I guess, well, technically I can. I'm just not gaining anything. I just want my higher score. Give me my high score. Um, all right. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. She's just saying that to scare me. Because I'm fine. But do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. Yeah, she's a um, snake oil salesman. Okay, general shop. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what. Oh yeah, that guy. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Right. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Right. Says the guy with the giant Ultimate. smile. That sort of thing. Alright, so I don't really care about what you have, but I'm hoping that you can... You only have 700 bucks, man. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna sell that. Sell that, and then that's nineteen. Where's my other? That's so the dagger. It's pretty. I like daggers though. I mean, look, it, it's so nice. It's a little bit too green, but it's nice. Um, and you're broke. So it's like the game is giving you so much junk. Wait, why is the cursor over there? Strange. 